and my mind is now getting opened up even more because from this farm I also realized there are very great opportunities for our farmers. Anybody coming here probably would have thought that uh, the, 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 the farm itself would uh, probably provide the necessary raw material to produce its own things. We also come to understand that they are also still uh, feeling the effect of high cost of inputs in this country and uh, it also now uh, pricks my mind uh, that as government we must start thinking of how other than the fertilizer itself that we've been talking about and, uh, uh, and, and the scenes on how we can also get into ways and mechanisms of trying to contract our own farmers to bring our people together to be able to embrace this kind of business venture. This agriculture in itself, it's business and big business. And uh, I believe and that uh, if we were to bring in our county governments to be able even to pick up uh, such uh, a project for demonstration without, within our counties, then we would easily be able to transfer a lot of knowledge and information to people out there and bring in a lot of people into this business. Eggs in this country are not enough. It's a shame we continue importing from uh, our neighboring countries when we have that capacity to do it. This form of business itself can also be able to put many other people into employment. I mean to understand that the raw material required to produce a chicken feed probably means sunflower, that is what they call soya, Swiss syndicate. You know, our, uh, generally the country, our country can be able to produce this raw material. And if we were to open up uh, many people to this business, we would have created employment uh, for very many um, for very many farmers because there will be uh, there will be a rent market for those particular uh, produce. So just like I want to confirm, this has opened my mind. This is one of the find, fact-finding missions that I'm doing in the country. And I long to have a serious conversation with our county governments because together we can replicate this into many other counties and we can be able to put many people into, employ into employment, we can also be able to produce enough for our local consumption and even for export. I must also start, I've learned from you. Now, my way of keeping chicken was kienyeji in a very different way. I've learned something, so we learn every day. And I can assure you in another 12 months, because I'll send my people here to be taught, to get to know where to get this equipment, or, uh, and apparatus to put up a mondo farm because I believe in when I get to know just like in the Bible when you when you lit uh, a candle you don't put it below the table you put it on top so that it cannot give light to and be able to invest in such a venture to start organizing yourselves because AFC will make sure that we have money in EFC. I don't didn't hear you say whether you are getting any support from AFC or financed you know, from uh, government, but AFC can be able to finance that. The only thing we need to get to do is get more money for them to do it. Or even further <coughs> discussions within government to ensure that part of the incentive, incentives that we may come up with uh, to encourage our farmers to get into this business, see whether we can also zero rate or reduce the tax on importation of such equipment so that our people can get into business. So, Pongesi Zana, I have told you, my friend, I came here to learn. And I've, un I've come to understand that we have a problem with the production of raw material. They are not able to satisfy demand. They have to import sunflower, seed cake, I don't know what it is called, lime, yeah, and soya from others. I why am every time saying that we will have to have a serious discussion with the accounting governments is because for us to succeed then business of crop husbandry yeah 
training of farmers, extension services, we must do together. And for this year, production of raw material for this kind of business, we must involve them. We are going to do as a ministry to be able to master, to do a crop master plan, to understand which crops grow best where in this country, so that we are also able to advise farmers. So if we find after that research, I think data, which is I think within our government systems, we will be able to advise farmers so that if there is soya, we know soya can be grown in this particular area. That way, when we have put in many people into this business and we've been able to establish uh, the demand of whatever uh, 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 raw material that is, whether soya, sunflower or this, then we will be able to see how we can get our farmers into farming those specific uh, crops that will be a source of raw material for people that will be doing pottery business. That's how we want to support them. And I'm sure why most of our farmers are not uh, really producing much is because of the fear of inability to get the market. So when we create demand for this raw material, then, f and there's good price for it, of course, the farmers will have no option but to go back to the farm. So that's why we want to, to lay a lot of emphasis in support of to our farmers, whether it's maize, whether it's sunflower, or whether it is. These discussions will progress them so that we can see how best we can be able to bring the cost of production so that they're able to produce enough for our factories, for, for ourselves, and how will they can be able to make money from whatever they do on a daily basis. I want to say thank you to the CS for making this his first stop. I think uh, Transair were really privileged to have him uh, on his first day of uh, assignment. And for us, I think it's really, really symbolic and significant that he makes this stop in Transair. Transair is uh, the breadbasket of this country, and we have a lot of potential, which I believe is still very much untapped. I'm happy that we have visited this farm today, Banoli Farm. We've learned so much. Yesterday we were the minister um, at the show, uh, and, and we learned so much also. Uh, we are happy that farmers in their own small ways are already uh, adding value to their produce. We are seeing a lot of diversification. And for us as a county government, that is where we want to head. We want to encourage the farmers to be able to, to grow other crops other than just maize, so that uh, we have more surplus and uh, food security. And of course, uh, it means also improving the economic status. So we have a lot of potential natural resources in uh, Transoya, and we want to ensure that we tap this fully. Uh, and I'm happy that uh, the, the CS has committed that is going to support us. And uh, I'm happy that uh, CS, you've, uh, you're going to put uh, um, working with governors at the forefront. I think it's really important to work with the county government and we really appreciate that. We believe that uh, that will be able to help us even bridge the gap of uh, the, the, the 10 million bags of maize uh, that we have uh, every year. So I believe uh, Transwear can actually bridge that gap if we leverage and, uh, and invest more in, in agriculture. So for us, this is really significant for Transwear. And uh, we don't take it for granted. We will do our best. Even as a, as a county government, we have committed to increasing the budget on uh, agriculture. And of course, uh, other, uh, ecos other dependencies like uh, infra infrastructure, health, water, those are some of the focus areas uh, we have put in place so that uh, we support agriculture. So thank you so much, Waziri, for coming. And we really appreciate uh, Banoli Farm for this uh, engagement. We want to see this replicated even in smaller scales from the kitchen garden and even to the bigger farmers. So th this one. Yes, I'm <laughs> Thank you.
10 to see exit 10, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The most mm -hmm. exit mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, he switched board in order to sign here. Yesterday, 